Okay, now we have opened the control program for Envirock. Also, just keep in mind that in order to run the control program, you need to have your Envirock instrument opened and USB cable connected to your computer. And um, now we may proceed on to the SOP for low viscosity sample measurement protocol, step by step. So as you can see from your um, protocol, um, step two, uh, pusher block engagement, we have to engage the pusher block, obviously. So since there is a gap in between the pusher block and the syringe piston, we need to manually engage them. But before you do that, first we need to type in the sample ID, select the syringe size, and set the syringe volume. So, um, sample ID would be water. Uh, the syringe size would be 500 microliter. And the sample volume, as I remember from before, it was 500 around 550 microliter and then um, we need to set the uh, flow rate to 100 microliter per minute and the measurement the measurement time to 60 seconds okay and then we can go ahead and click start And uh, press OK to start measuring your viscosity. But uh, before you do that, you want to make sure that once you press OK, you want to move your cursor back to uh, the stop, the stop button, just so um, you can uh, stop the uh, run immediately when, um, as soon as you see the um, viscosity, the average viscosity rises, because that will indicate. Um, and engage like an actual physical contact between your uh, pressure block and your syringe piston. So let's go ahead and press OK. As you see, your uh, viscosity haven't rise yet. So now you shut up and you should just go ahead and press stop. So that was the end of our pusher block engagement step. And now we may proceed on to step three, sacrificial run. And the reason we need to run a sacrificial run is to purge out the air bubbles in the chip and to prime the chip with water. Although most people don't realize, air bubbles can be an issue in MVROC measurement and can alter the results significantly. So. Let's select the flow rate to 1,000 microliter per minute and the measurement time to 5 seconds. Please keep in mind that this particular flow rate is designed for water, which has viscosity value at around 1 centipoise. If you have more viscous sample, say isopropanol, which has viscosity value at around 2 centipoise. You should scale the flow rate to be slower and the runtime to be longer. So go ahead, click start to begin your measurement. And press OK. Since this is a sacrificial run to purge out the air bubbles, the data is most likely to be contaminated by air bubbles in the chip. Therefore, discard the data. So 